Indian Muslim cleric issues fatwa, no music at weddings. <laughs> On January 5th, Muslim clerics at the Jama Masjid in Jammu and Kashmir's um, Poonch district in India, uh, these clerics issued a fatwa against playing music at any function, be it marriage, funeral, or any other occasion. According to the fatwa, individuals who will defy the rule will need to publicly apologize during Friday prayers and pay a fine. If a cleric visits such a house, he will be penalized as well. Local BJP leader, uh, Yudhurv uh, Sethi, in an interview with The Times Now, questioned, quote, why do they have a problem with those who work as a DJ uh, and earn a living? <laughs> this newest fatwa also prohibited the banging of drums, not just for musical accompaniment, but even when trying to scare away animals. Where are they getting this from? And also, why specifically, uh, you know, weddings? Um, so that's what was kind of funny. They were saying that, like, they will not grant a nikah, like, if mm -hmm. there's music at the wedding. There's, like, if there's wet music, no nikah. <laughs> like, no nikah for you. <laughs> Again, this is, like, which, where where in India is this? Like, this in, is, uh, like, how? Kashmir. how how much enforcement power does this, does this guy? Like, obviously, this is like just they're enforcing this only on the Muslim community, right? Like, and their Muslim community, not every Muslim community. The people that yeah. are part of their whatever group they they are at, right? We can. Is this kind of like shouldn't this be cracked down on? Like, you know, you're kind of creating like laws within like a two-tier system like they're like kind of like have an, an enforcement body of like how people are supposed to operate like i don't know i feel like this you is mean like in terms be... of like kind of in france like the separatism issue yeah 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 like why do people's like if you're if you're in india right um you shouldn't like if you have a large group of people all of a sudden their their lives are being affected by these people who are not like not the government like you know i just think like you're you're building a two-tier system with two separate laws for a separate group of people i mean how big of a deal are these people like is this like a big group a big islamic group like how far like is this a fatwa that is supposed to affect how many people how many people will follow this that's a good question. That's not something that I was really able to get a sense of during the research I was doing for this story. Um, yeah, I'm, sorry, what I, I'm asking very specific questions. Yeah, I mean, they they do say that, um, you know, that this is definitely something that they're going to be enforcing on their own community. Like I said, like if if you're seen to be playing music at one of these functions, then you're going to have to... Um, it apologize in front of the community. Um, if a cleric or some religious figure, you know, attends one of these occasions where there's music playing and um, officiates in any capacity, like they are going to have to issue an apology as well and like pay a fine and be penalized. Um, so it's, you, it's just it, inter-community policing. You know, it's really, you know what's, great susanna our job is so easy like we don't really have to say much okay like how do you not see that you're like again where does that mean are we the are we the baddies i should have that ready okay like what do you think people what does that say about you where when you're against music in weddings like and do we need to add like any commentary on that like you're you're not, you know, you're, you're taking people's like a celebrate, like the most festive f celebratory event, and you're like, no music there, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you're against fun. You're against like you, the entire world could lo will look at that, like, other than the people who have bought into your cult, right? Um, they were like, you're against music, and specifically during a time when it's supposed to be the most festive event of someone's lives, right? It, you just like, who would, like, even most Muslims would look at that and be like, you know, screw you guys, right? Like, not it's not just the most most of the world; it's also most Muslims, right? And all we have to do 
it's just like like oh yeah these muslims are against the, this this group is against music especially at weddings and that's all you need to know we don't need to tell you much you know about how bad <laughs> and again i do want to know how many people's lives are affected by th these groups of people like if they have this much authority to de decide that whether or not you you play music at your wedding imagine all the other ways that they could screw with your life like how much of an, mm -hmm. how much you know it's just like i don't know and you know india a lot of people don't keep I, we have to remind people that india's muslim population even though it's a minority it's like i don't know is it the third largest or fourth largest muslim population in the world is it the third or the fourth i fourth? think it's the third it's actually right. either the second or the third right right yeah i mean it's amazing how the number one um two and three and i think four is it four is four egypt uh i don't know but at least one two and three most populated uh most um muslim big largest muslim populations in the world are all out of the middle east right we have i think indonesia I know. isn't that interesting yeah india and pakistan i guess yeah but yeah so um, when we when we when we're talking about rulings like rulings like this affecting muslims in india you have to understand this is like yeah when we say a minority population in india we're talking india india is like everything is like extra large okay everything is big okay so we're talking about millions and millions of people's lives being affected by just like somebody deciding like music bad you know no music at weddings They're like oh haha, that was stupid that's like these people are anti-fun anti-music but like I, you have to remember like it shows the level of influence that you know just these groups have on millions of people's of lives like even if this specific group doesn't have an effect on millions of muslims in india there are like there are there are many of these groups in india I, again i don't know how influential yeah here look at yeah this, i mean so this is from um uh like one specific district in yes, Jammu yes. And kashmir so like hopefully their influence is i mean it's not great if even if their influence is over that district but like hopefully it is um uh, a lessened influence right one thing that i thought was interesting is this fatwa also included a prohibition on um the groom demanding dowry from the girl's family, um, which is my understanding that that's already illegal in India anyways. Uh, and then it, like I said, it, the, the prohibition on playing music or indulging in fireworks at the, uh, at the wedding, no fireworks either. Um, there was this comment by a BJP leader that as much as I, I did think that this was kind of funny. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a, I don't know. Let me know what you think of this. So, like I said, uh, BJP leader uh, Yud Hurvir Sethi wondered why fatwas are not issued to ensure that the children of Jammu and Kashmir, quote, drop guns and pick up laptops and obtain an education and earn well. Why do they have a problem with those who work as DJs and earn a living? Mm. Yeah. So, like, on one the hand, thing... I thought it was kind of funny because, like... He's like, why are they coming after these people's livelihoods, right? Why do they have a problem with their job? Like, they, we all got to work a job in this economy. Like, I thought that was kind of funny. And then the what about what about the dropping those... guns and picking up laptops? It's kind of like characterizing it that Muslim children are. I mean, it, it's particularly should... contentious in Jammu and Kashmir. You know that they just are, like have guns all the time. I don't know. I think you should introduce these clerics to those. Uh, electronic music that they take the hadith part of the hadith and they you know make like mo you know techno i don't know not techno like you have your, you know what i'm talking about right like they take a, a part of a recitation of a hadith i didn't even know by the way that they recite hadith until i heard this right i thought they were okay but a recitation like a musical part of a recitation of hadith and they just like make it modern and electric music like if they maybe if they get exposed to that they were like okay this is this is good <laughs> maybe like this are is you like... thinking of that song that rihanna got in trouble yes, for for having yes. in her fashion show thank you you know exactly what i'm talking about that was pretty cool okay and you yes. could also take some yeah so maybe but that's not islamic I mean, at all i know they would hate it but i'm just kidding uh, they would actually hate it. They would actually hate it more than regular music. But I'm just assuming. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just picturing them like they're like no music. Music is bad. Music is haram. And then you're like, well, what about this? And <laughs> you play it to them. 
and they're like, oh my, I never, I, de- I never enjoyed listening to Hadith more than this. You know, maybe <laughs> they will change their entire, maybe it will just change their entire ideology at the spot. I don't know. We could try. It doesn't hurt. Um, let's read what Katie is saying. Um, Katie is saying they mentioned something like music cutting during the grass, like music during cutting of grass in Urdu video, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So they're basically, they were saying like, if you're cutting the grass while you're doing that, um, I guess people bang drums to try to scare away animals, like maybe scare away snakes or something that might bite you, you know, while you're Mm. in like deep grass cutting it, something like that. Um, I couldn't get like a precise translation, but it's basically saying. Yeah, while you're doing this thing to cut the grass and you need to scare away animals so that you, you don't cut them or they don't hurt you or something, um, you're not even allowed to bang drums while doing that. Why in the world I, would that be haram? Why? I know why. No, no, they, they're actually being very smart about it because they thinking they're, they, 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 they have thought they're thinking two steps ahead, okay? They're like, oh. no music. And then somebody will be like, they might be like dancing on their yard and then playing music and they're like you can't do this and they're like no i'm just trying to out this yeah, is yeah, like yeah, yeah. this is not for fun i'm just trying to scare away you know what a- <laughs> yeah they're like they're like we saw this coming before people even use it against us this was a loophole in the system because yeah, people yeah, yeah. could just be having fun for other excuses and we were like we just told them that you can't do that okay so they're 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 Actually, that's very smart. Okay, I'm just guessing. I'm just missing. Oh, but secular is rarity is saying it's basically the pot plot of some '80s boy meets girl movie. Yes, that was so funny when our How? writer was writing the story. He originally titled this something like uh, "Kashmiri Footloose." <laughs> <laughs> hey, this should be a movie. This right? should be a movie. Yeah, imagine actually this should be a movie when somebody like a, about a DJ that is so into music and now his career is being like destroyed because of fatwa, but he's like refused to just like music is such an important part of his life and this turns into a fight. This will and then all of a sudden the Muslim like the end of the movie is like all these Muslims dancing in a wedding and even yeah and then the clerics change their mind and even they join in and they start like, <laughs> like hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes that's a that, that's a movie plot God make it happen somebody yeah and then like everybody is like happy and the clerics change their mind and the music yeah the music is so good. The music is so good that the clerics have to like undo the fact that they heard. The, you know, this is what what is that? Uh, the Greek uh, mythology where um, Hades like listens to the music and he's like at first against it, um, and then he like, listens to it and he changes his mind. What is that? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't actually. They, I'm very familiar. Come on, with that's, Greek mythology. You're, 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 that's, this is your favorite part of Greek mythology. Your favorite story, where it melts people hearts with the music. What's that guy? What's that guy's name that comes to save his wife? Oh, from the Orpheus. Underworld. I think Orpheus. that's his name. Yes, he and he plays music for to. You're uh, right. I thought you were talking about Orpheus, but I couldn't remember that that part of the story at first. I just yes. remembered him how he went to go get his wife. Yes, you're right. Yes, so so this is this should be a modern day version of the story of Orpheus, but except this is a DJ playing the music. And it's a love story as well, right? Like it's about a wedding, right? And he's he, the DJ is gonna play the music to these clerics, and they all like ch- like they all regret and they like okay they change their mind because of the music is being so good, right? This is like a mix of Greek mythology bringing up with like Islam in mod- India modern like guys make that happen. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. This is the best idea. I know, but the gr- actual Greek story like ends very sad. It's not. It- um so they would change it because it's actually like a tragedy but we could yes. change it to have a happy we ending. could change it yeah we could like we could we could have an artistic license and change the ending yeah i imagine a scene where like the clerics they like bust into a wedding where they're playing music and, the, and, and everything was quiet they're like <gasps> and then and then the dj is like he starts to like play a little music slowly and it builds and it builds and then the beat drops and the cleric like whips off his scarf <laughs> And then he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my Someone God, write this. this movie. <laughs> yes, make this. Yeah, make this movie. I, I, I think I'm actually not joking. I think this will sell. This would definitely. 
Um, <laughs> You're welcome. Once again, you are welcome. He is. Um, imagine if it actually does become a movie. We, we have to, guys, can you put like small Atheist Republic in the credits? That it's just a small, like you don't have to do much. Actually, no, you will get in trouble. Forget it. It's for, you can it's, just put uh, our names. You can put our names. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, yes, exactly. It would be Islam, zero, music, one. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.